I'm going to take you along on this project that I did a few years ago for a friend and what I would do differently now. She had this empty space that she wanted to turn into a desk nook. Okay, so first I've got to take off these baseboards. Um, here's the cabinets. And I've already stained the top and the shelves. So I'm going to cut the baseboards, take those off, and those baseboards will be used to put back around the cabinet. Houston, we have a problem. That's water. That towel is soaked. I didn't do it, I swear. When I went to take this out, whenever they shot this in years and years and years ago, they shot a nail in the water line. And see how that's rusted? It was plugging the hole. So when I took it out, I, I heard water and I freaked out because it's like my biggest fear is to hit a water line. And I did at somebody else's house. So that's nice. And there's the pipe they hit years ago. Luckily, she didn't live too far from me, but I still had to transport all of my tools and work off her driveway. I didn't record myself building this cabinet, but I used like a desktop wood for this. And if I did it again today, I would use cabinet grade plywood instead. I chose to use beadboard for the back wall to give it some texture. I painted it tricorn black okay, by Sherwin Williams. Painted. I'm gonna paint this only on this side. I'm not gonna do that side because that's gonna be against the wall. And then I'm gonna start putting everything up. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I've got a little bit of drywall dust on there I need to wipe off. But tomorrow we will fix this area. I'm gonna make drawers, put the drywall on, and then put some beadboard on the side of this to cover that. Okay, got the drawer slides installed, whatever they're called. And I'm just gonna make the drawers. And then I'll put a drawer front on, I'll paint those black, put beadboard on the side to hide this. Um, they're not really worried about filling that in, so if they're not worried about it, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> and then I'm going to stain, sand and stain those screw holes and I'm pretty much done. Now if I were to do this project again, I would definitely patch that drywall because whoever takes that desk nook out, um, one day is going to be like, what the heck did these people do? <laughs> So yeah, I would definitely patch that. She just wanted the desk done really fast and she told me not to fill it. So it wasn't my house. I just did what she told me to do. Now to hang the shelves, I just screwed one by twos to the wall. Um, I had to use a lot of drywall anchors because there weren't very many studs in this house. Like I think the house was built like by somebody built onto it and it's not your standard stud spacing or anything like that so i'd use a lot of drywall anchors but that those shelves are not going anywhere i promise and then the wood just sets on to the one by twos and then i actually screwed them into place if i did it again i would just use a nail gun because nails hold it in place just fine okay i've got one drawer made i'm gonna go make sure this fits i still got to do the drawer front so this isn't going to be finished now, this was the first drawer I did. I do them a lot differently now. I use plywood and I use a thinner piece on the bottom. That one was really bulky. But for my first drawer, I don't think I did too terrible of a job. Now, right here, I'm installing the drawer slides. I put them on the inside first, and then I put them on the um, drawer. Now, there are way easier ways to do this. And the drawer is really tall, as you can see. It didn't need to be that tall. I could have left more wiggle room. But like I said, this is my first time building a drawer. I think I did pretty good, but there are definitely easier ways of doing this. Okay. They work. Now we just gotta do the drawer fronts. That one kind of sits flat and this one is not so flat. So I might move that one out a little bit. But aside from that, we're good. Oh man. I am so close. I'm gonna have to take these back off to paint this, but <laughs> isn't it pretty? And then I've got to attach these because these are not attached yet. So neither are those, but I've got some, we're refinancing our house. So I've got some papers to sign. I've got to run home real quick. And then I've got to paint this, paint this, attach these, I just have them cut down to size, and then cut the baseboards back down and put them 
right there and right here and then I'll be done. Okay, so this is another spot that I would do things a little bit differently. I used one solid piece of wood for the drawer fronts. Like I said, this is like my first build kind of like this. Um, now I do it a little differently. A solid piece is fine. I would just make it a little bit prettier like this. I built these doors and these are one by threes. And then this is a piece of brown board. And then I even used trim, like tiny little base cap molding trim on the insides. And I even have some other drawers in my living room or door fronts, drawer fronts that I uh, rounded the edges to make it even more fancy. But that's how I would do it now. And this is another upcoming video I'll share later. But yeah, I just do things differently. You learn as you go and that's all fine. And she was happy with it. Also, another thing I would do is put the beadboard all the way to the floor. Um, she just wanted, she didn't care about that. She didn't care about me cutting around the vents with a beadboard and all that, but I would have done that now if I did it again. Again, this is what it looks like previously, and this is what I turned it into. Subscribe below and come along with me as I learn all kind of new skills in my DIY journey.